What's going on guys, it's Gino from Modern Accessory Review and in today's video we're going to be transforming this desk we have behind me into my dream setup for only $600. And because I am what you would call a pro user I guess, because I do a lot of different video editing and I use different programs for web design purposes, my goal is to try to find the best of the best equipment possible all within my budget. So let's go ahead and get started here. And the very first thing that every single great setup has is a super nice monitor that will connect to your laptop. I personally have the MacBook Pro 16 inch from 2019. So I'm trying to find a 4K monitor that I can use for video editing that also has a USB-C port for easy connectivity to my laptop and will look good next to my MacBook screen because it's really funny when you see a really nice setup that has an amazing MacBook and the screen is just super detailed and then they have like a really bad monitor and the screen just doesn't compare to their MacBook. And this is probably going to be the most time consuming part of this entire process because there's so many different options out there when it comes to monitors and how good their display is, 4K versus the other resolutions and all that kind of stuff. And a lot of these 4K monitors are actually over $500 to $600 themselves, so it is going to be tough to find a cheaper monitor that still has really good resolution and a USB-C port as well. And we still need to save a lot of money for our keyboard, mouse, and the monitor stand that will also hold my laptop. So we have to find a good deal on a monitor. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into my laptop and I'll catch you guys in a little bit. And after hopping on Amazon, reading a ton of different articles and watching a lot of different YouTube videos, I finally found a good 4K monitor that has USB-C connectivity and that is the 27 inch Dell S2722 QC for $380. Now I am still definitely not an expert on monitors but I do know that this will be a great monitor for my specific laptop because after putting in many hours of research this thing looks like it's the best price for what you're getting, the 4K, the resolution, the USB-C connectivity. It should work perfectly for my specific laptop, which again is the 16 inch MacBook Pro from 2019. So I went ahead and added this monitor to my cart on Amazon, and as you can see, it's 380 bucks. But now we have to find a monitor stand, and monitor stands are kind of tough because a lot of times there's only one arm within the stand but I need to find a monitor stand that will not only hold the monitor, but will hold my laptop as well. And I also don't want it to connect directly to the wall. So we need to find something that connects to my desk that will hold the monitor and my laptop as well. Of course, I also want it to look super clean and modern. So I'm going to have to find a really good cheap option here. And after some research, I had the idea to look at different setups on Google and YouTube, and I came across this monitor stand right here that has cable management, it connects directly to my desk, and it has an arm both for my monitor and my laptop. Thanks to Allure on YouTube, this process didn't take me too long, and I will go ahead and add it to my Amazon cart along with the monitor itself. So as we can see here, this thing is also only 50 bucks. So we have a total of about $430 right now in our Amazon cart. We have $170 left over that we can use to find a good wireless mouse and keyboard, which should be plenty. And after taking a look at a bunch of different mice, I did decide to pick up the Logitech MX Master 3 before this video actually, because I was using a bunch of different programs like Blender, Final Cut Pro, that makes using this mouse in particular way more superior than a lot of the other options. And I did actually do a whole video on this mouse itself, so if you guys do wanna learn more about what it can do, I will link that video down in the description below. And it is a little pricey for $100, but it has tons of different features you can customize to your own personal preference. And I absolutely love these two scroll wheels for using Final Cut Pro. But moving on to the last thing for our setup here, we need to find a good wireless keyboard with a remaining budget of 70 bucks. I have looked at all kinds of different keyboards, including the Apple Magic Keyboard, some of the Logitech keyboards, 
and a lot of them are super expensive and some of them even don't have backlit keys which they should for the prize. And luckily for me, I decided to check out Sateki's keyboards because I have seen them on Instagram a lot and they actually have a backlit wireless keyboard for 70 bucks on Amazon. Now it is a smaller option compared to some of the other keyboards, but the smaller option is almost exactly the same size as the keyboard I have on my MacBook Pro, so it'll work out perfectly. And altogether with each of these four items, that brings our cart to $599.96, which I guess if you add it all up with tax, it's just a bit over our $600 budget. But I will definitely have the most cost-effective pro user setup so that I can do things like video editing and picture editing and all kinds of different content creator stuff. Now, unfortunately, even with Amazon Prime, it will be a couple of days before I receive all of this stuff, except for the mouse, of course, which I already have, but I'll go ahead and jump this video a couple days to when I have all the equipment ready to set up. All right, guys, all of the equipment is here and we are ready to set it up, but I did notice that my wall has this weird like black scrape on it and I'm kind of a perfectionist, so I'm going to go ahead and clean the scrape, try to clean it off, and if I can't clean it off, I'm going to paint over it real quick. All right guys, and now that my wall doesn't have that bad scrape on it anymore, I'm going to go ahead and unbox everything for you guys and just lay everything out on my desk. All right, so now that we have everything unboxed and laying on the desk here, let's start setting up the stand first so that we can attach our monitor and laptop. And thankfully the stand does come with all of the screws needed in order to attach the monitor, the other arms and everything else. Okay guys, so now that we are getting closer to completing my setup, all we need to do is connect the wireless keyboard and mouse, which is connected to my laptop, which my laptop is connected to the monitor. And hopefully all of this works out super well the very first time, but I guess we'll go ahead and see. Plus I do want to mention that the monitor I have here does come with a USB-C to USB-C cable, so we don't have to spend any additional money on different cables, which I am really stoked about. Okay guys, so I set up the monitor arms here, attached the monitor, and I have my laptop sitting on this tray, and this setup is definitely wrapping up pretty nicely. These monitor arms are really great because you can adjust the height, you can adjust how far out they are, how close they are, and it's really nice because depending on what project you're working on or whatever you may be working on, you can adjust the height and the angle and everything else. I also want to mention that I have had this desk mat for about a year now and it is from OrbitKey. It's super high quality, but you can find a ton of different desk mats on Amazon for around that $15 mark. And guys, after finding a really good screensaver and adding some finishing touches, my minimal desk setup is looking really nice and it is completely finished. Let me know what you guys think about the setup and if you have any ideas that would make it way better, definitely let me know in the comments below and I will get back to you. And I think I should get some sort of cool lighting or something to brighten up the vibe a little bit so that it's not boring. 
but I do love this clean modern look as well. But yeah guys, I am totally open for ideas, so make sure to comment your thoughts below, and I really hope this video helped some of you who are looking for the best cost effective equipment possible for a setup. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like for the YouTube algorithm so we can get some more views on this channel. I appreciate all of you guys here, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!